Okay, Coach, you can go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and mute myself, okay? Good evening, guys. For those that don't know me, my name is Joe Seinflohn. I am the quarterback coach at Lake Mary High School in Lake Mary, Florida. Uh, this is currently my 39th season coaching football. Okay. I've coached everything from eight-year-olds all the way through semi-pro. 13 years as a head coach in New York City, uh, counted for 11 state championships. Uh, four years I was in Charlotte. We ran a uh, record there. We coached uh, 14 news in AYF. We were 55 and one over those four years. We won four state championship, three national titles. Our only loss came uh, in a double overtime uh, semifinal game at the uh, nationals. Overall, I've accounted for 19 state titles, four national titles, and uh, my last three seasons in coaching high school football here in Florida, we have been undefeated. So I'm going to do something, right? We're going to talk tonight about counter scheme for modern offense, and uh, one of the things for me, particularly in the youth game, I think the counter is the best play. And why I think it's the best play is because everybody is going to prepare to stop your base play and everybody's going to play sound defense and they're not going to give up reverses. And counter is that play that at any time can go for a home run. Just has that, by the way, that's me, I know. Rob, you've seen that ugly face. Uh, good evening, Brian. I see you've, you've joined us too. Um, but the thing with counter, we have found that we don't need to set counter up for it to be a big play for us. Back in the 1980s, everything was, well, you got to run your base play, got to run your base play, and that'll set the counter up. As time has progressed, we found with defenses flying around, you don't need so much to set the counter up as you do execute it properly. That, of course, starts with the blocking, and that's where we're going to go first, okay? Um once you understand the blocking and the scheme, the list of plays you can use, and this is what I love about counter, is endless. I'm going to show you probably six or six, seven different ways to uh, run counter tonight. But guys, uh, really and truly, you can come up with that many more on your own without really trying. The key to it is getting everybody to execute. Okay, so first let's attack the, the blocking side of it. Easiest way to think about counter schemes, think long trap and wrap. Okay, wayside guard is gonna make that long trap. He's gonna kick the first thing outside of the offensive tackle out. Wrap is going to occur from uh, either the H-back or RZ, depending on the formation and the set. 90% of the time, it's our H-back. What we found is uh, instead of pulling an offensive tackle, who a lot of times just isn't a great athlete, by using our H-back or our Z, we're using a premier athlete. And he's the guy we're going to want wrapping. He's, he's the guy that's, that's usually going to be a better athlete and a better blocker for us. Okay. Downers can be used on any downer distance. And again, execution. And once we actually get to it, I will talk a little bit about the execution and, and what really makes it work. 
Okay, here's what the counter blocking will look like. 